I'm Amelia Chen. I am Nate Dorian. And I'm Carl Mbaha. And we are energized! <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we actually started a uh, half an hour later than we anticipated. Um, because, and we were, <laughs> myself and Nick were genuinely worried because Amelia was nowhere to be found and wasn't replying to any messages and hanging up yep. when we called her. So we assumed something incredibly, incredibly dangerous and important had happened that required her full attention and what was it amelia i'm just learning just reminding we're learning how to cut cards with one hand <laughs> and i got a bit distracted <laughs> so while fair, two of us were incredibly worried someone yes. was cutting cards <laughs> but to be fair it's, it's very important for her day job these days as a poker hustler to be able to <laughs> cut cards with a plum i i mean in this day and age god knows what we need to do in life Tell me about, about it. it. I mean, do you know what you mean? Like, I mean, I... Mm, yeah, let's not get yeah. into money woes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I actually found out a piece of news about, like, because we were talking about, me and Kai were talking about the internet just now and how sh fucking shitty internet is now. Is for porn? Huh? What? What? The internet is no, for porn. No, 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 not that. But, <laughs> do you I mean, know this? Is, but, like... There's a problem now in the sea that sharks are eating fiber net wires. Fucking hey. <laughs> Max where, seems to have used this, this whole like, oh my cable in the water not working excuse for like the past ten years. And actually it's true. Maybe now it is true. The sharks are eating the wires. I guess maybe. it's because of the electrical impulses, maybe? Is it because of because I mean they have electrical impulses and then the wires have electrical impulses and they're like is this, is this I'm, a predator? I'm gonna pull up the article <laughs> let's face it it's it's basically because like any type of infrastructure made in Malaysia just do first and wait, then wait, spend wait. every single day of the rest of your life fixing it wait wait is this a Malaysia? like these these are Malaysian sharks that are eating no, 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 okay. the cables sharks this is a New York Times article sharks or just have sharks shown in general yeah, sharks have shown an inexplicable taste for the new fiber optic cables that are being strung along the ocean floor linking the United States, Europe, and Japan. They're fucking with us. That's exactly what they're doing. So, <laughs> okay, I think, I think maybe that these are like um, South Korean trained sharks and they are actually sent <laughs> to eat all these cables so that South Korea can win at eSports because they're, they just need it. Even more edge, this because they have the, even though they have zero latency fiber optics in their country. But right? if they eat the fiber optic <laughs> cables, then they cannot get their message of multiple girls in a girl group and multiple <laughs> androgynous boys in a boy group. That you cannot tell the difference their from. Song. Yes, <laughs> you know, like facially, you cannot tell the difference. So that's why they need to have different hair colors. Yes, yes. Although you notice, there's always I don't know about the boy groups, but you notice in the girl groups, there's always one that stands out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's usually the one that I usually like, and that's the one that I find out that most people in Korea don't like. The more Americanized one, right? Yeah, like the, the one in um, like CL, or mm. the, the one in Girls' Generation, who is like hip and shit, and really good. I, yeah. I, I actually don't know. Sorry, but wait, okay, coming back to the, the sharks, there is actually a reason why they attracted to the undersea data cables. Tastes like um, blood. Several hours. That would be weird if the Wi-Fi outlets are smelling like blood. Um, several outlets have pointed out that sharks can sense ele ele electromagnetic fields, so perhaps they're attracted to the current of the electromagnetic field. She yeah. called it. Yep. And they're eating it. This will make a good Jaws sequel. <laughs> now they're coming for <laughs> our internet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rebooting everything nowadays, right? Like, everything so, is being yeah. So wait, it's a socially distant Jaws where they're not even in the water? Like, these sharks are eating our internet cables. We need to stop them, send the drones in. We're gonna need a bigger drone! <laughs> <laughs> Submarine drone, oh my god. Oh yeah, they have those. Yes, they do. Like, then yeah. I, like yeah, sometimes I, I watch Lord Nautilus live and it's quite, it's quite the interesting. <laughs> Nautilus live? Is that is literally that? like a drone camera that's just live? It's just it's just marine bio. It's like marine scientists like like um, sending like some like unmanned submersibles into like deep trenches and uh, looking at weird shit. 
And which got me to thinking, right? Like, can you imagine, like, you wanted to, you wanted to look at all, like, you wanted to learn about the sea, and a part of me goes like, why, why, why was being a marine biologist not a thing for in the Malaysian education system? Like, there's so many other careers in the world that Malaysia mm. does not even put into your brain, and they only put mm. like, macam, you, you only think that you can be a lawyer. An accountant, <laughs> wow. a doctor, doctor, yeah, or sometimes scientists. Sometimes, because that's what we've been grown to and groomed to. No, actually, you know, you, you, to. you know what my theory yeah. is with that because I I noticed this when trying to find schools for my brother. Like you would think for a country that where timber is one of its exports, we would have like arboriculture schools here, but we don't, mm. right? Because and we don't my, give a shit about the jungle. No, Sorry, my theory is. If more because we're body. Asian and we come from the jungle, they're just like, why do you need to learn this? Wow, really? I, that is my theory. Because think about it. When you, like, nine times out of ten, the person you hire to cut your tree, is he trained in cutting trees from a college? Ah. No, but going. okay. But, yeah, but, yeah. but, but <laughs> so, even marine biology, they're like, got orang laut, what? what the fuck? I was just about to say that, like, got orang laut. <laughs> You know what yep. I mean? Like they probably just think like, look, they, but they we, don't we, think they don't think it's a science. They don't think it's a science. They don't think you mm. need a certification for it because, like, literally, you want to be a grass cutter, you just get a grass cutter. Yeah. Whereas in other you don't countries, need to learn how to do that. Yeah, in other countries, you need a permit. Mm. You can't like just fuck around in someone's garden without a permit, <laughs> without some wow. kind of formal training. Mm. Shit, our plumbers don't have formal training. That's true, but, yeah. I mean, but that's a vocation. Still, in other it's countries, still, you need at least a diploma in plumbing to be a plumber. Yeah, aren't there plumbing schools and shit? Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, electricians. I don't think you can't electrician yes. school. You can't be yeah. an electrician oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. in Australia without oh. a degree in electric engineering. Mm. Really? Yes. Then you're not going to get a permit. Oh. Doing vocational shit in places like Australia and England, you earn a ton. Like... Do you know how much a roofer earns in New Jersey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean, but there are there are vocational schools in Malaysia which teach you electrical, like elect to be an electrician and to be a plumber. I'm sure. But I mean, that's slowly coming out. Like you no, talk no, no, about that's, that's, 20, no, 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 years. No, 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 no that's no, no, not no, my no, point. My no? point is, have you ever hired an electrician or a plumber that has a diploma or degree in electric, electrician, electrical engineering or plumbing? No, but no. they don't need that here, <laughs> right? They don't it's, need it because no it's one. It's not a requirement. But they yeah. don't need it for the same reason people don't think you need to learn about mm. how to cut a tree to cut a tree. Mm. So there you go. They, they, it's not like to me. It's like yes, it's on the one hand looking down at it. On the other hand, they're like, we're jungle don't know people. Any better. Yeah, but to me, I'm like, we're, we haven't been jungle people for a while, man. <laughs> but I think it's also the fact that we've been doing it like this for yeah. so long. Why change it now? Yes. That that sort which of mentality. Is, yeah. I mean, which which is which? Wow, so political now. Um, which <laughs> Not goes even political. To, okay. No, 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 no. What I'm about to say is going to be political. Go which on, is then. okay. You know, like how like okay, palm palm oil plantations is painted as the big bad, right? Like in, yep. in, in a lot of circles. But actually, there are sustainable ways. Hi, boo. To Hi, boo. to grow palm oil. Yes, mm. to make it sustainable. But a lot of a lot of people are not interested in that because the age old oh boy, do this way with the change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So look, it's yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, we kind of need stuff like this because answer me this simple question: You all know how to pick rambutan from a tall tree? No. You need to have the gala, the 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 the, the thing, right? The poor you, you got it right the first time, the gala. The go. gala. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know how to take care of a chimpadat tree? No. no. There you go. <laughs> I'd have to Google that shit. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Ooh, do you want to chill? <laughs> <laughs> cats do what cats do. <laughs> she, she's been very forlorn past few days. Oh, oh dear. Aww. Is she okay? I think because there's no young kitties to play with. And you Gimme, you know, she's at that age where she wants to play. Oh. Um, and Gimme's like, fuck off. Okay. And <laughs> me and Amelia, um, uh, we got, me and Eva are busy most of the time. Eva mostly mm. busy, you know. And then her playing involves biting one's arm. 
Mm. Oh my god, with Eva would like flip when she's editing, so like yeah. Oh she'll she'll just sit in front of Eva's keyboard and just eyeball her. <laughs> Play with me. I'm gonna grab her. thing. <laughs> so yes, contrary to popular belief, we we're not talking about schools and electricians. <laughs> we're gonna be talking a little bit about uh things we've been watching, what's coming up in, in TV and movie world and yeah. stuff like that. It's a little bit of a random episode this week. Yes. Yeah, me and me absolutely trying to try to <laughs> cut cards. Cut cards in the corner out of out of sight. Whilst I rub my scent all over Boo's face. And I just look I'm at this. I'm still I'm still I'm 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 still I'm still on the fence of whether or not to get a cat eventually when I move into my condo. Can you deal with sweeping up fur? Mm. Uh, it's the it's it's I think I think what I'm afraid of is the is the what are they gonna do? What is it gonna do when I'm cooking? Uh, um, yes. You have to basically mm. train them to not do that because this little bugger, this little bugger over here, she likes to jump on the counters, uh, the kitchen counters, don't you? And I think it also like the problem is it varies from cat to cat and how you train yeah. them because like you, my cat is I would say is the most obedient cat I've ever come across in my life. Like he'll just sit there when we're eating. He'll he'll sit. He'll look at us. Mm. He won't really wine or he doesn't he hasn't clawed on any of our furniture at all whereas boo like, loves yeah. to you know how my table's a cork table right an expensive yeah. cork table <laughs> yeah i don't she know why loves you... cork for scratching <laughs> i mean i can see that i can see that from a cat no, gimme doesn't gimme knows better gimme like the wooden legs of my old wooden table yeah she scratched mm. the heck out of that she like natural <laughs> wood and then dim sum likes cardboard <laughs> don't all cats like cardboard to a certain extent? No, like dim sum likes cardboard specifically for scratching. Oh. So you know yeah, my, different cat. My cat likes cardboard to hide it. Yeah. But won't scratch at it. There you go. So it yeah. really depends on the personality of the cat. Like you might have an asshole cat that has no boundary issues and just thinks whatever you're eating is theirs. You know? Like uh Boo we keep finding like at some point I think she managed to grab like something sweet and then she got like a sweet tooth uh so if we throw a chocolate wrapper in like you know we have like a little side plastic bag bin by the cooking counter to just throw stuff as we're cooking so if there's a chocolate wrapper there we'll find it on the floor uh, she'll grab it lick the excess chocolate and be like ah <laughs> so a part, a part of me feels like maybe like actually a part of me wouldn't mind like Keeping like fostering geriatric cats. Ooh, mm, that mm. care. It's the yeah, care. that will take a lot of time, a lot of care really? and attention. I yes. mean, look at it this way: we have, you know, Dim Sum's an old cat that has a kidney failure. It's it's a lot of work. You know, a lot of work. Yeah. So yeah, if it's an old cat with a geriatric cat, it's. It's work because they might not be able to control their bladder or their poo, you know, or they might need medicine. This is why I want a robo pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, you and, just get yourself like an aloof fat cat that just doesn't bug you. Yeah, fat cats won't do shit because they're nope. they're just big. Like, but remember, the one thing that I remember will be consistent Tina? amongst mm. like Tina, Tina just was like, "Do you? I'll do me." There's one hour of the day she'll run around like a madman. Apart from that, she's just chill. Just get used, and you just had to get used to the idea that every once in a while she likes to sit in the corner and stare at you. <laughs> That's what cats do. Disconcerting, yeah. but you know. Yeah, I think the one thing across the board that you will have to get used to is the cat hair. Unless you get the a cat. bald cat. Yeah, because cat hair will get everywhere whether mm -hmm. you like it or not. It's still in my mustache right now. It's still in my facial hair. And you did it, but that, okay, that you did it yourself. Yeah, yeah. You did that <laughs> yeah. to yourself. But it's the price you pay for smushing a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking I of don't shit in my face, sense. like, I ordered uh, for, for, for lunch, I ordered humble food. Oh, yeah, humble food. The spaghetti uh -huh. bolognese. And first, like, the, the second I put my fork in and then pulled out some spaghetti, somehow the spaghetti sauce just splattered directly into my <laughs> eye. <laughs> Like a direct hit, like I was I was crying spaghetti sauce. <laughs> and 
um, true, true story. <laughs> um, once when I was sewing a fish fillet. Mm-hmm. Oh no! You got I fish like, juice or oil? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I was like, it was like spluttering, and I was like, was it? It was either fish or was it duck? Either one. And I looked at it, and it's a new. Oof. I had a bird shit on my face. That I think that's the worst thing. <laughs> that has nothing to do with cooking. I know, or but food. like, unless you usually eat bird poo. <laughs> I was just, I was just trying to think of what has spattered in my face, and for some reason, I was like a bird shit on my face once when I was looking up. Oh, <laughs> I looked up and I landed straight on my forehead, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> you lucky man! <laughs> you lucky That's how big, bastard! That's how big my forehead is. It's a target for birds. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> water to wipe my face with. <laughs> enough, enough, enough segues. Uh, so yes, um, a lot of things is, is coming out surprisingly in September. I've made a mess of myself. And October. <laughs> what, oh my god, what did you do? <laughs> I didn't want to leave the table, so I just took some mineral water. <laughs> yeah, we're all like we're all like doing our own thing, just like yeah, well done. <laughs> so yes, uh, one of the. Big ones in terms of comic adaptations coming out is Why the Last Man. Ooh, yes. Oh my god, yeah! Why the Last yeah. Man. That's uh, September, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, finally, we've got the trailer after not knowing much news. Like, it was in limbo for a while because the creators left. Mm. It was and... for a long time, from what I remember, because this was on the cards like for a few years. Yeah. And now we finally got a trailer and release date in September. Didn't see uh, any of the Amazonians in it, the trailer, but I'm wondering if they're going to pop up. Amazonians? Like, there was a whole thing in the comic, like, you know, because the plot for Why the Last Man, for those that don't know, there's all the men in the world suddenly die, except for one dude who happens to be a magician with a monkey. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. He's a he was an practicing... astronaut. No, he's a practicing magician with a monkey. No, he wasn't. Oh yes, the astronauts landed in space, and then astronauts they said, were later on. Yeah, the astronauts were in space weren't. Affected. Never mind. Let's not. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's spoilers. That's, that's quite far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like remember his sister uh, joined like a whole group of women. Looked at this whole plague as like it's time for the women to come up, and they be became Amazons. And with respect to traditional Amazonian culture, they cut off one booby. So archery okay. would be mm. easier, even mm. though none of them were archers. So it's like, it's just purely symbolic loss mm. of booby. You know? But yeah, I didn't see uh, those in the trailer, but I'm wondering if they're going to pop up. I also didn't no. see, like, I don't know about the casting, I don't know about the characters, but I didn't see the... That's a long was she Israeli? Who? The Mossad agent that... that uh, in the comics? Yeah. Uh, is she later? From, is she wasn't later she on? black? Let me let's just Google. The okay. agency, if I'm not re if I'm not mistaken, was like, wasn't it there, Israeli? There were a few. Yeah. 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 So the black woman is there. Yeah. Um, but and Miss President, uh, who I think yeah. was Minister of Agriculture or something, <laughs> but all the other men die. It's like, ma'am, you're the la you're the highest ranking official. Uh, is it Alter, the, yes. the Israeli? Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, from what I'm seeing in the cast list, not yet. But again, I mean, the, the trailer shows possibly from only the first episode, from what I'm looking at at the yeah. moment. Um, our first two episodes are coming out September 13th. So, I mean, we could see, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know how many episodes this is going to be, actually. And that's Hulu, um, right? FX. Yes. Hulu, Hulu, Hulu. FX, FX on Hulu. Yeah. Bro, what are you doing? I'm scratching my furniture now. <laughs> I'm going to leave uh, one of the doors open so she can pop out. When she wants. Yeah, it actually does not say how many episodes. It just tells me that um, the entire first season will be directed by women. Yay! Yeah. But yeah, uh, we're getting one last man, finally. Yeah. Um, and then, speaking of comic book adaptations, oh we also God. have season three of Doom Patrol coming up. I oh, saw yes, okay, that! Yes, okay, Doom Patrol yeah. came up. Okay, oh, some, yeah, some, yeah. someone is unhappy about something. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, yes. Season three of Doom Patrol is coming out September 23rd. I cannot wait for that. I remember, I think it was the season two recap we were doing. You talked about a giant gorilla. Yes, and it's Doom in the Patrol. trailer. Giant gorilla with yes. the brain. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, when Mala. I saw that gorilla, I'm like, oh, they're bringing this one in, are they? <laughs> they had to. That gorilla had to come. The gorilla with the beret for it to and, a revolutionary and, gorilla. Side note, Brendan Fraser is having his second coming, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> yeah. Because, no, I'm sorry, but I really love Brendan Fraser, yeah. and I'm glad he's... He's picking up his career again. Um, he's working with Scorsese, mm. which he's extremely excited about. Scorsese. So I'm like, hey, finally, we get to see this guy again. Good days. <laughs> I think, would it be fucked up to do like another Mummy direct sequel, oh, <laughs> but set now? So like he's old? Like Indiana Jones 5? I mean, but better. <laughs> You know, he's like, I'm too, I'm literally too old for this shit. I'm not going to go hunt for mummies anymore. I wouldn't mind seeing he's that. He's not that old. Well, I mean, put some makeup on him. Oh, either that or set it in the 70s so he doesn't, so his age matches his character's age. When was the original set? World War One, Pre-World War One. Pre-World War. I, it looked, it looked like 1920s. Yeah, so set in the 70s. 30s, so he's like, 30s. So he's like a grumpy dude in the late swinging 60s, early disco 70s. His son is the one that's now chasing monsters. Bring back Rose McGowan because she was, it was oddly absent in the Jet Li one and it didn't make sense. Rose yeah. McGowan? No, yeah, Rachel yeah. Weiss. Rose McGowan? Rachel, Rachel Weiss. Weiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel Weiss. That's what I was like, I don't recall it her being there. She, yes. she wasn't absent. They recasted her. With someone that had a completely different vibe. I, I actually did not watch the third one because of that. Like I and, felt like it was so disconnected from the first two. And and for the and for the and for the umpteen time the the, the guy playing his son looks older than Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> which is pop which might also be the same thing that we're all going to say about Shang Chi. Yeah. I'm, I mean I'm I mean sure. I mean for sure a lot of us are going yeah. especially a lot of Asians are gonna go but Tony Leung is so good looking. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, Simo, I mean, great for you. L- kudos to you. But, you know, uh, like, but it's like, Tony wow. is a heartthrob. Tony's yes. a dad, and you didn't get any of the hot genes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if, if, if Michelle is your mom, like. I mean, come on. Yeah. Something should yeah. have happened. Uh, sorry, I was just reminded of uh, Indiana Jones 5 and, like, why Harrison Ford should stop doing Indiana Jones 5. Because he's like. like and I mean, he already sustained a shoulder injury, which has put filming back for like eight weeks. And and I mean, I mean, and also to a certain extent, I don't think he gives a shit. No. Why do we need an, another Indiana Jones film? Put it just, to rest. Just reboot it. No, you you know, be really mm, yeah. Right. I hear good things about Jungle Cruise. <laughs> yeah, strangely, I've heard good things about it too. I just have no interest in watching it. <laughs> no, you know what they sh- actually. You know what they should do in the movies? Just do the movie versions of Young Indiana Jones. Yeah, oh. I mean it's right there. Oh my the TV god! TV series was all right. Just do Young Indiana Jones. Just you know he had to go die. <laughs> Wait, who? River Phoenix. Yeah, that was the Young Indiana Jones in the movie. But remember the oh. series Young Indiana Jones? You don't actually. Oh, no, no, no. I do know this. I, I do know this. Oh, I do know this. Yeah, yeah. I do know this. Who played Young Indiana Jones? Sean Patrick Flannery. That was it. Yes, there we go. Yeah, Boondock. Yeah. Right? Young Indiana Jones. The movie. Mm-hmm. Done. Okay, actually, no. I may not have. Wait, I have I have seen this. Yeah? You must yes. have. It was a staple yes. on, I think, TV3. Yeah. I think TV3. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot. He wasn't Can that we? young. <laughs> But anyway, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, what else is coming up? Yes. Talking about other comic book adaptations from ah, DC. <laughs> Titans Season 3. Hooray. I mean, <laughs> have you been following? Are you the only person who okay. has Season 2 was <laughs> shit. It was I thought so... Season 2 was supposed to be better. No. Because, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Season 1, first few episodes, I was disagreeing with the tone. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I can roll with it. For some reason, because when they introduced Jason Todd, suddenly it made sense. Like, you know what? When you're young, that is when you swear the most. So, you know what? I'll roll with this. And But he wasn't the one that was swearing. Oh, he was swearing like a motherfucker. But he wasn't the only one. He wasn't the only one. And But because of him, it kind of like opened it up for the others. And they had a certain tone. (laughs) They went through. And then season two, like, 
you spend the entire time in season one building up like Raven is going to bring out uh, tr- uh, Trigon and, you know, tri- he's this huge demon with multiple arms. And he's going to fucking fuck everything up. Oh, and then I they think you talked him. about this. Yeah, and he de- they like defeat him in episode five one. Seconds. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what else are we going to do now? Well, let's go to San Francisco. <laughs> and the tone was just weird. And it's obviously, it obviously didn't have much budget and... Game of dude. Thrones dude being Bruce Wayne did the Bat Watu <laughs> scene in a weird fever dream sequence. It was odd. I mean, were they trying? <sighs> I mean, was was it weird show because they were trying to pander to like um, Teen Titans Go fans or something or like? No, because no, it it just seemed like they didn't know what they wanted. But season three, the trailer. When I saw the full trailer, I was like, oh. <coughs> You have money to make Beast Boy not look so shit when he transforms into a tiger. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Titans has gone on longer than it should have gone on for. I'm curious. I don't know who is watching it. I am. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm watching it for the same reason I watched Got Ham. But Got Ham was more fun. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, Got Ham knew the mission charter at the end of the day like we're heavy and we know it we're going to play that up but titans i feel like they're still trying to be serious but it's like right? at least got the got ham was like it can't get any weirder oh shit you know, <laughs> jada pinkett has been fused with a fish oh my god right? <laughs> i mean like i'm like that's a bit on the nose right her name is fish mooney but all right yeah and she was fused with a fish by um what's that weird doctor at arkham you know, the one in the Arkham games. Uh, oh, oh, that one. Oh, fuck. What's his name? The ball, dude. Fuck. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, wait. This is annoying. Dr. Acula? No. <laughs> no. Aquila? Aquila? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, what the fuck is his name? I, I he, forgot. Is it? No, it's not Dr. S- Hugo Strange, right? Hugo is Strange, it? yes. Hugo Strange. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Which, the other Dr. Strange. I'm sorry. When you're, when you're aud- auditioning people to be the doctor of your mental asylum... Do, do you want to hire someone named Strange who looks <laughs> strange? strange. <laughs> and speaks strange. But yeah, and it just it just kept going like, oh look, now we're bringing Bane, who was <laughs> Billy the Kid in um, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> you know, it, it was. I feel odd. I feel like when a show understands where they are, that's when they can have fun with it. Wait, like wait, Shane West was was Bane. Yes, Shane West was Bane. Shane West, West, Jim West. Bang. Back in the game. Uh, <laughs> no, like, I realize that when a, when a show understands that if they're getting silly, let's run with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been on a big supernatural binge at the moment. Oh my god. And I, and I realize, like, I'm, I'm not at season four, oh but I realize, god. like, season okay. one, season one and two, they were very, very serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a supernatural yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then season three onwards, they're like, I mean, there's an episode where Dean gets ghost flu and he's scared of everything. And I'm like, you know what? When Loki showed up, when Loki showed up, that's when things got really weird and they were like, fuck it, we're running with it. It's like supernatural Loki, not not, not Marvel Loki. No, no, no. They they got budget to hire Tom Hiddleston. And he was at that point. The mythical god, Loki, did turn up, like the god of tricksters. So So many angels. Hold up, hold up. Um, Speaking of Loki... I was watching, um, you know, honest trailers for the Loki TV series. Uh-huh. I, I had, haven't seen that one yet. I had no idea that Tom Hiddleston did these weird vertical video ads for vitamin supplements in China, <laughs> where it's in the POV of this woman, <laughs> and it's not really. Oh, like, is this the one where he's cooking? And yeah, shit? and it's really yeah. not really like if you're his wife or his mistress or his girlfriend, <laughs> but he's serving like vegetables. With with the vitamins, yeah. <laughs> and you know, in a tight white shirt and tie, and it's it's so, okay. okay wait, speaking of him in a shirt and tie, like I'm sorry, but like towards the end of the season of, of Loki season, right? Like you, I know Kai, you really like the shirt, yeah. Then like when when he was given the knives and then he magicked himself up that harness, I was like, someone hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the shirt and then harness and those knives. I'm like, yes, yeah, son. Okay, back, to, back, back to this trailer. Well, then, if you think that's hard, wait till he serves you vegetables. Okay, no, <laughs> this is too weird. I mean, like, yeah, no, he, no, speak, no, no, no. he speaks a bit of Mandarin as well. No, mm. I'm sure. Mm. As just, as just, as just what I hate about China, like, I why I can't stand about Chinese shows what? is that they dub everybody. How do you mean? 
Like everything. Oh, no, this dumb. sounded like oh. him. This did sound like him. It sounded like Tom Hiddleston. There was no rubber lips. Like it's him trying to speak Mandarin. Like I guess he learned one phrase because you know why else is he married to this Chinese girl? Okay, no, 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 then, uh, then I'm going. I'm afraid to watch it because if it actually <laughs> is him and it's not good Mandarin, I'm just gonna sit there and cringe half. Like all like, your he's... heart will melt. No. Mm. You know who actually speaks no, proper mainland Chinese? No, no, no. My heart will not melt. My heart will harden because because my <laughs> like I couldn't. I do not like less. I like less. You know what I mean? Anyway, yes. Who gives you proper mainland Mandarin? John Cena. <laughs> John Cena. John Cena. When he speaks Mandarin, I swear to God, because WWE surprisingly, I mean not surprisingly, I mean they they have uh, what do you call it? Language classes for the athletes oh. to to because they need to. Um, sort of send them out for publicity tours and whatnot. And John Cena speaks almost perfect Mandarin. Like even no. mainland Chinese people are like, no, really? I've Have heard, you heard it? I've heard some. Of, I've heard some of it, and it was like, okay lah, can lah, can lah for ang mo. I want to okay. hear the Undertaker speak Mandarin. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I can try like John Cena speak Mandarin YouTube. Ah. Yeah. Because, yeah, they have to learn how to speak different languages when they go to different countries. So they have language courses in the WWE, which I'm like, oh, that's so right. When The Rock came to Malaysia, did he yell out, Kau boleh bau! Apa yang batu masa? No, no, no. No, 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 no I mean, they, 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 would always, they would always do the, 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 the signature, like, you know, Aku sayang padamu lah, you know? Yeah, but I want to hear the rock say like, Aku tak kisah nama kau siapa! <laughs> that would be interesting to hear. <laughs> so you guys vamp on while I try and see and... I and watch John Cena speaking Mandarin. Speaking Mandarin. Uh, um, okay, coming back to other seen, TV shows. Have you seen uh, there is a worldwide casting call for every reality show on Netflix? Yes, I saw that. I don't like, get if it. you want to... Like what, you want to be on it? Queer Eye, or <laughs> so wait, you just post a video and then they'll pick what reality show you are meant to be on. Uh, that one I'm not sure. I don't know how it works, but I just know they're looking for people to be on their reality shows. What is this? Uh, Netflix. Netflix is doing a worldwide casting call for all their reality shows, and they just said post a video, and it's like, what does that? I, I want to post a video that just says like your advertising is really confusing. And maybe you'll get cast. <laughs> uh, um, so I've seen just, I just like listened partially to like John Cena's speak engine at WWE's historic press conference in China from 2016. Mm. And I'm like, it's all right. It's just that the pronunciation is okay. Like I would give him like a 60 or 70, but this, the problem is the cadence, which is a lot of what everyone has problems with because mm. then you speak a bit like, like this mm. and like, you know, yeah. Yeah, so it's okay. It's all right. It's good. <laughs> Actually, on John Cena. Mom. Yeah, John Cena, who who refuses to take off his costume for a promo. Oh my god, fucking yes. Oh, oh wait, wait, sorry. Uh, wait, coming back to this Netflix uh, worldwide reality thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let me read you this article from Deadline. No. So, Netflix is looking to find a raft of new reality stars with a major casting call. It goes on for a little bit. And then it says this. The focus is in the US, UK, and Canada. Well, what part of worldwide okay. is that? What part of worldwide is US, UK, and Canada? It's up there with calling like like their baseball league the World Series. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well, I can't remember which Eddie Izzard stand up it was where he was in the States. Like, and, and I hear America won the World Series again. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 you're, only the, you're the only people in it but okay I, I remember watching this trailer about something and then like Eddie Izzard was in it and I was like oh but he's playing a guy uh, <laughs> actually I might have seen a trailer for that too because I feel Sometimes like I saw Eddie Izzard guys. recently he, no he's playing someone's father I can't remember which trailer it was I thought he was going to take a chill from acting to concentrate on politics I know which is why I was so surprised when I saw this, and I was like, uh, I mean, I think he, I mean, I think he dies in the very beginning because it's in the trailer. <laughs> oh, so there's a British war film uh, called Six Minutes to Midnight with Judy Dench. Uh, I said the Germans are coming. <clears throat> then the there's Germans another. Are always coming. 
British crime drama coming out called Stay Close, which he's part of, which is coming out on Netflix in 2022. Maybe he's raising money for his campaign. You know, politics can cost money. And his activism. He's, you know, he's mm. pretty social with the activism. Yeah. Uh, he's also in a film called The High Note. Oh, no, The High Note is the Dakota Johnson, Tracy Ellis Ross film. The one on uh, Netflix, I think. Ooh, you know how we were talking about Got Ham earlier? Mm. Mm. So the kid playing Bruce Wayne, mm. he's in a trailer for this movie called The Birthday Cake? Oh, is this the one with, um, oh my God, Ewan McGregor and his daughter? Yeah, it's like some big gangster film. The birthday film. party, if I'm not mistaken. It was, it was like a mafia film or something to, that centers around a... Yeah, the birthday cake. The- and that's the thing, like, it's such a huge cast and the dude looks like he's on the screen grab. He looks all serious and shit. But he, he's, he, doesn't, look like, he doesn't look like an adult. <laughs> he still looks like Batman? Like, he's holding a gun and, you know, he's, he's looking badass. Like, he's, But he's how old a, is he? Oh, he's definitely an adult by now. He went through puberty and got ham like in season two. For some reason, he went to study overseas for a couple episodes. Oh my god, Val Kilmer's in this. Yeah. Val Kilmer. Oh, that's another thing I want to talk about when we get to it. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I mean, Wait. I, I want to say maybe he's got like Nicholas Holt. He's like Nicholas Holt. Like Nicholas Holt. Well, maybe. Nicholas-, Nicholas Holt as well doesn't look like he ages. Actually, you know, which <laughs> British kid just doesn't age fucking... Um, Fucking uh, Love Actually Airport Kid. Yeah, yeah, it's like his face stays the same, but his body gets bigger. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one looks like, like, how you, you? He's the same age as the mountain in Game of Thrones. <laughs> but he doesn't look it. Wasn't 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 that wasn't that a joke also for something else? Like like. Like another actor was the same age as the mountain, and then like, but um, look at the mountain, look at this guy. I think it was that kid. Oh, really? was another one? Yeah. Okay, uh, so... There are a few. There are a few. I just pulled it up. The the actor, the, God, the Gotham actor, is David Albert Mazuz. He's 20. Oh, he's 20. He's, he's 20. He's a child. And, and he in the... He can't drink yet in America. In the birthday cake, he plays young Gio. <laughs> ah. Like, in a flashback sequence, he plays the younger version of a character. Ah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, sorry, uh, speaking of Val Kilmer, whoever can get their hands and watch this documentary has to watch this documentary called Val. It's, it's incredibly mm. personal. Um, it's a delight to watch. And the fact that he's been recording his life since he was a kid and now using all that footage, wow. it's... Wow, he had foresight. Yeah, because he just wanted to, you know, document his life. And I'm sure, Kai, you can relate to something like that. I mean... The, this trend has also been popping up because there was um was it that nineties documentary? It was a bunch of nineties child stars. Oh yes, uh, and one of them this... had had a video camera the whole time. So like, all these people, are, holy shit, you shot all this? <laughs> yeah, I saw that document. I I have it, but I haven't seen it yet. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know, was it um was it Clarissa explains all that was shooting all this stuff or what? <laughs> Clarissa Olenek? really? No, no, no. Oh, no, uh... no. It wasn't Hannah Montana. It was sound. I oh, sorry, Kid Ninety. That's the name of the. the yeah, who's the girl that was? Whose whose footage was it? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen the the documentary yet. Do, do, yeah, but the main character, who, like the person who owns who, the footage. The cast? Who's in the who, who's who is it about? Oh no! Everyone from the nineties is in it, but the person yeah. that was holding the camera was. It's not Melissa Joan Hart. It's uh ah. Oh, when you see her, you know who the fuck it is. I'm gonna look okay, it I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna list out the name of actors. Uh, hey, David Arquette. As a teenager. Oh, no, no. Salil Salil Mo- huh? Yeah, fire. Punky Brewster. Punky Brewster. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's wow. her footage. Oh, wow. damn, so, you know, son. Like, young, yeah. uh, young Toby Maguire, young Leo. Young, young Marky Mark. Yes. Yeah, all the Saved by the Bell cast. Yeah. So that's another documentary you should watch. But again, Val, it's, it's a very personal story. And it's the way that it was shot as well. And just seeing Val Kilmer as somebody that, like, whether you like it or not, especially growing up in the 90s, you would have seen at least one Val Kilmer film. Of course. What? Really? I mean, like, come on. If you were a geek, you would have seen him as Batman. And, and if you watched Batman, movies, you Iceman, one, you know, oh. like, if you were, like, if you just watch movies, like, Top Gun. Top Gun, Not fucking Man. Tombstone. Iceman? Was he, what do you mean? Yeah, he was yeah. Iceman. In he Top was Gun. Iceman. In Top he Gun. Was, yes. 
Um, Doc Holliday in uh, Tombstone. Tombstone. He was. Uh, <laughs> what was, he was that? The saint. Uh, yes, he yes. was the saint. What was that spy spoof movie where he was like a rock and roll oh, star that was sent? Top Secret. Top Secret. Yes. <laughs> that was his. That was his feature film debut. Top Secret. That was his first film, and they talked about it. And I was like, wow. And you know what the fucked up part is? He was talking about his experience, and he said that um, for the role, he wanted to learn how to play the guitar because his character played the guitar. And then they were like, he spent months learning it, and then the director went, no, we just want you to mime it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but oh, he, had a, he had a shit time on Island of Dr. Moreau, though. I was trying to rewatch Island of Dr. Moreau. It was what, uh, the one with Frieza Bok. Yes, it's. Uh, he had, I mean, the movie tough, itself. Tough watch. Like what? It's like David Thewlis's U.S. debut, and I'm like, oh, you <laughs> poor man. Yeah, he had a shitty time on the Island of Dr. Moreau. I, but, had, okay. I didn't even get to the animals. I was just watching the first <laughs> ten minutes. I was like, this is. <laughs> Uh, what I probably, what I is Val Kilmer playing? I probably see more of it, but I'm like, because uh, I saw it in the cinema when it first came out. What? Yeah, I went to see it with Jordan. Wow, wow. <laughs> dude! In, when I was in boarding school, every Saturday it was, it was Saturday's the only day to go to, to the cinema. So even if we don't know what the fuck we're watching, we're watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So like, you, you saw you, a lot you, of shit movies. Our <laughs> first movie there was Escape from L.A. Ooh, nice. It was from the recommendation of some Mara kid who was like, oh, Escape from New York, best door, and it's equal. Then he came out and he was like, sorry, bro. Sorry, it's okay, okay, okay. Blah. Blah. It's okay, I can't lie. It's not that bad. With pizza it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. That, that film was cheesy as fuck, but it was brilliant. It wasn't that bad. Oh, <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm like, so part of the movie playing my head. No, no, no. The ending was quite bad. The the whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's from the doctor, right? The president's doctor? Yes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that was the bad one. Yeah. <laughs> it, and, and, um, and we all love Snake Plissken so much. Yeah, but that one was. Um... No. Now people are campaigning for Wyatt Russell to take over the mantle and Wyatt's like, fuck that, I'm not going to step yeah. in my dad's shoes. Ooh. Those are no, big no, ass no, shoes no, to fill. Shoes to fill, bro. No. <laughs> and besides, you're, um, you're the US agent now. Yes. Okay. Um, wait. I brought uh, this what up other to, shows that come out? I brought this up to Nick. I don't know if you've heard about this, Amelia. Um, Adrian Brody has a series coming out called Chapel Wait. Based on Stephen King's uh, Jerusalem's Lot. See, not a lot. Of, like, I've never heard of this. <laughs> right? I feel like they're putting it out under the radar because. No, but I'm like, but I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I ignore the radar altogether. So. <laughs> the trailer looks interesting because Aiden Brody's like married to like Native Americans, and they move to a town where obviously like we don't like Native Americans. Cause oh, is he racism. playing American? Is no, he he's playing, playing American for once in his life? <laughs> no. Because he's putting on a pilgrim's accent. Like, Basically, I'm okay. Like, he's fucking like <laughs> absolutely forget that he's an American. Yes. Which is great. Which is yeah. amazing because that's what an actor's supposed to do. But like, uh, also look at that face. No, well, he is American, for, right? He's he's yeah, he is American. Adrian Brody? Yeah. You kidding me? He's American. He's of Polish and Jewish descent. But American. Um, for those who don't know, the, the short premise of this is following his wife's tragic death at sea, Captain Charles Boone, Adrian Brody, and his children return to the small town of Preacher's Corner, Maine, where a dark family history haunts them until confronted. And that dark family history is vampires. <laughs> they, 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 always, they always try to make a Stephen yeah. King show. Yeah, now is the peak of Stephen King shows. Shit, speaking of which, did anyone watch The Stand? Yeah, it was great until the last episode. Well, Honestly, it, it was good until the se sorry the second last episode. I didn't even finish the last episode because I was so pissed off in the second last episode. Third acts of Stephen King horror books are tough to pull off, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's when he just goes all ball balls out and just goes... Like, yeah. Remember the so ending the of Dreamcatcher? <laughs> So the disabled person was an alien all along. He will fight the other alien who makes you poop aliens. 
Spoiler. It's almost as if that like, he writes the book and in the third act he's like, how the fuck do I end this? <laughs> No, I was I was rewatching Castle, and then he was like, you know, like why 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 not be like Steve, like Stephen King writes novels about like you know like killer cars and shit. Like what? Oh, why 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 do why should I be hampered by logic? Yeah, like yeah, because the isn't stand someone, the TV series, the third it, act was shit. There you go. And isn't someone making a movie about the killer car? Yeah, there's yeah. a reboot. I mean, of, there was uh, already Christine. a movie. John Carpenter did Christine, and now they're doing it again. Because yeah. once wasn't enough for a Cadillac that kills you. No. Uh, yes, it's going to be rebooted. Not much has been said apart from the fact that it's going to be under Blumhouse. Look, there's a Stephen King book that was made into a movie about a, a dude losing weight because of a gypsy curse. <laughs> Thinner. Okay. Thinner. Yeah. Like and I know that they made. They were, <laughs> Sorry, that by I don't know about Stephen King. God, it's all black because you have the shades. And then suddenly, <laughs> give me with a white by young comes in corner. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you looking up there? Oh God! Ah, <laughs> uh, another series that's coming up. Hi, Boo. <laughs> Boo's like, what the fuck is happening? Keep talking. So another series that's coming up is uh, Only Murders in the Building. Uh, yes, Steve Martin, about. Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. I I saw that, and I'm like, Martin Short! I'm like, great. And Selena, Selena Gomez, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in it for Steve Martin, and Martin Short, and Nathan Lane, and Sting. Yes. For some reason, Sting is in this as well. <laughs> Let me guess, he's just going to be in the corner looking hot. Of course. He's playing himself. Oh, Sting's playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then he's literally just he going to be like... Not. It's, it's, so, shall I play uh, Fields of Gold? <laughs> this is a... It's a comedy drama series about uh, these three people who share an obsession with true crime uh, stories and find themselves in one in an apartment building. Okay. So think, I, I think Selena Gomez did it. <laughs> <laughs> For, from um, a train, like, I feel like Selena Gomez did What the... What is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is coming up on Hulu on August 31st and apparently will premiere on uh, Disney Plus Hotstar on September 3rd. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it'll be a weekly show. Uh, mm. That was interesting. Yeah. Looking yeah, forward yeah. to that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, like, it's like, let's hope Steve, Steve Martin oh. right, is his name. Uh, yeah. I mean, Steve Martin and short. I'm like, what can go wrong? A lot. <laughs> Come on, right. putting uh, Chase there. They are the three amigos. amigos. Uh, another series that's coming out is The Shrink Next Door, which is coming out on Apple TV, based yes. on the podcast and starring Paul Rudd and Will Ferrell. Uh, Paul Rudd is not, a shrink. It's Will. not a comedy, as Kai puts it. It's a single white female with a therapist. Oh God, no! Yeah, Paul I Rudd looks watched, freaky. I I watched Single White Female the other day, and I was like. This is actually a pretty stupid movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty terrible. I'm like, really? Okay, then. <laughs> um, but this looks pretty interesting. It's about a therapist who tries to take over his patient's life. Um, Paul Rudd plays the therapist in a very different role, which is scary, to say the least. I know. I'm like, it's interesting. I mean, I mean, you know, we all love Paul Rudd. Mm. And it's like... It's it'll be, it'll be interesting to see him in yeah, a I'm curious to see him do so I'm pretty nice sure he role because he always plays the nice guy. Yes, and this time he's not. He well, he looks like a nice guy, but he's not. Dun dun dun. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> um, another TV series. What hmm. we do in the shadows, season three. Yes, yes. You know what? Uh, I mean, on top of what we do in the shadows, I need to touch on this for a moment. But I'm surprised that um, Wellington Paranormal is on its third season in New Zealand, but the first season has only premiered in the US now. Really? Yes, it only oh. just premiered in the US. I'm like, oh. Wow. But to be fair, Wellington Paranormal is the most New Zealand Taika ITT show I've ever seen. Doesn't he have a new show or new or new Reservation movie? Reservation Dogs. Yeah. Which has uh, first two episodes are out. Haven't seen that yet, but uh, it's out. I saw the trailer. It looked really fun. Yeah. But yes, what we do in the shadows is uh, coming out with season three. 
Have you, seen the teaser? Have you seen the teaser where they're just trying to like sell off stuff online? Yep. It looks as silly as ever. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so this... glad I got turned into a TV show. <laughs> there, there's a movie that I've been excited to watch for a while, and there was no mm. trailer up until like the past week. Kate. Oh, yes. Um, oh my Mary, God, what's her name? Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yes. Has been poisoned by the Yakuza. So she's going to go and kill them all to find out who poisoned her. <laughs> yes. She's a trained assassin and she looks badass and hot as hell. Holy shit. Yeah, this looks interesting. Interesting, yes, is the word. Yes. She, she looks And badass. Woody Harrelson as well, yes. Yes, Woody Harrelson seems to be the... the like, if this was John Wick, Woody Harrelson would be the guy at the hotel going like, hey, here's some guns, <laughs> and don't do yeah. that. Speaking of Woody Harrelson, uh, the second trailer for Venom came out. Carnage! Yes. yes. I mean, okay, okay. when when they first announced that he would be Carnage, I was a bit like, hmm, my, like, I don't, I, I can't, can't I can't. Okay, okay, so I guess my exposure, my, my maximum exposure to Carnage is actually the symbiote like so i don't know who's oh you never symbiote. saw who the uh yeah, 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 yeah so like you know like so i like that context mm. um and of course they're also taking they're also taking the symbiote in a in a quite a in a very different direction <laughs> it's a red one <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. i mean i actually quite enjoy that like, i'm sorry i i love how like odd couple it has become between <laughs> eddie brock and venom <laughs> it's a red one it's like if you if you if if you come out, I will. If you come out now, I'll let you. I'll let you eat everybody. 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 Oh, no. oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! I'm sorry, I've just looked at the casters of Kate, and like one of my favorites, one of my thing, my favorite Japanese guitarists is. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm distracted by Kai screaming at Boo. What is she? What is he? Yeah, but anyway, so it stars one of my. <laughs> When is Kit coming Sorry, keep out? Keep talking. Keep talking. When is Kit coming out? Because I'm quite interested now. Because uh, even though, even so, it stars one of my favorite like Japanese guitarists. His name is Miyavi. He's wait, Miyavi's in a, there. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I'm, I'm like yeah. he's probably playing like there's no there's no there's no character name under his name. He's probably just gonna be a cameo la. You say Yakuza, right? So he's probably gonna die in the first ten minutes. <laughs> Who out of here? She's causing as, havoc now. As as they okay. all do. Like the only reason, like I was like, one of the only reasons I watched like the late like the last. Resident Evil was because Lee Jun Ki of like uh, Clown and the King fame was in it and then like you know he dies after he fights with with Mia Jovovich and I'm like okay then fine okay uh, <laughs> okay I can stop watching the movie now <laughs> because this movie is shit uh, I, I, I never bothered actually to watch the films yeah I went on a Resident Evil binge like I started doing like all the anime movies oh I thought you were watching the movie movies I did, and then I, I watched the last one because Lee Junki was in it, but the, no, sorry, Lee Junki was in it, and I was like, nope, I can start watching it now because this is pointless. Um, uh, Kate is coming out September 10th on Netflix. The, 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 the Corridor crew, when their VFX breakdowns, they did you know, some of the Resident Evil ones, which had some really, really terrible effects. Like, at some <laughs> point, their budget must have been super low. <laughs> Oh, it looked uh, terrible. I wa actually, okay, I wanted to uh, double check. Like coming back to uh, Carnage, like <laughs> I showed the trailer to Vanessa, and she she was all in, and then she was like, "Wait, that's how he became Carnage? He bit Eddie Brock?" And I'm like, "Uh, yeah, I guess that's what the film's going for." Wait, it's, oh. it's a little bit better than in the comic. What? How did he become in the comic? In the comic, the symbiote. No, in the comic, the symbiote came to get Eddie Brock. So Eddie Brock was put in jail with Cletus Cassidy, mm. right? Um, mm -hmm. And then the symbiote came to help Eddie Brock escape. He became Venom. He broke through the wall. He got cut on the way out. And then bonded. And there was a little bit of symbiote mixed in with the blood. And then that bonded mm. with Cletus. And then he became Carnage. Mm. No, but then... Okay. But then why would Venom be afraid of ostensibly his... Offspring. I, like later on, they do. I haven't read these ones, but I do know that later on they had like a planet Venom. Yes. A planet symbiote or something. Yes. And there's yes, like a hierarchy of 
symbiotes symbiotes yeah yeah, yeah. which guessing is the red ones are the scary ones yeah which is the only reason why i would think that venom would be afraid of him so, mm-hmm. but then like if 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 the reason he became carnage was there because for me carnage was like i always thought carnage was another entity so like nothing i mean it got like mixed and you know it's like like venom was the first strain of covid19 and carnage <laughs> is the delta strain <laughs> or what, whichever strain down the line um <laughs> But then, if if in this, like, Cletus just bites him and then gets mm. fucking Venom, like, uh, uh, Carnage, like, mm. what the big deal? Because the symbiotes feed off the, the um, what do you call it, the negative emotions of the host. Oh. Yeah, so right? if you're a serial killer, it's going to amplify whatever yeah. is in you. That was the whole point of Carnage, like, a symbiote in a serial killer is a lot more dangerous than a symbiote inside somebody who just hates Spider-Man. Like really, really badly. <laughs> uh, what I do appreciate is that they've changed uh, Cletus's hair. Like at the end of Venom, I know they're trying. I know they were trying to go for like comic accurate, but I that hair. I'm like, I can't take him seriously. I kind of wish they cut that hair. Venom, I kind of wish they cut that hair. But it looks like a wig. It genuinely looks like a wig. It probably was at that point. <laughs> Look, how many times have we accepted Nicolas Cage with weird wigs? That's because it's Nicolas Cage. We'll I mean, accept Nicolas Cage as anything. I mean, it's, it's he's weird anyway. It's kind of like, you know, what? But I love how Andy Serkis has come out to give a proper reasoning behind the haircut. He, he said that we wanted to give a sense that he's been in there for some time and he's gone through various changes so that we can see what really is going on with the darkness of the character instead of just like, yeah, that hair didn't work. Andy, Andy, and to be honest, when I first saw that in the Venom credit, I was like, that made me speculate, like, oh my god, is Woody Harrelson going to work as Carnage with this hair? <laughs> It'd be really hard to fit that under, under a ball cap. Not that he needs to wear it, because it's all CGI anyway. Good. Okay, there's, so, a, there's another oh yeah. show I'm, I'm waiting for, but it's not a September release, it's December, so they've been teasing, they've, been, they've kept teasing it without showing any footage of the new season. Which is? Cobra Kai season four. Oh, Cobra Kai! And the reason why I bring it up because um, the the Latino dude who's um, in the show, I think it's confirmed now. I'm not sure. I might have to double check it. Uh, his uh-huh. name's Cholo. Uh, X O. Oh yes, yeah. He's making a return, right? He's gonna be Blue Beetle. <gasps> yes. <gasps> That's what I don't I know heard. if it's a rumor or if it's confirmed, but to me, I'm like, that's brilliant casting. Uh, let me double check. Because I thought that was confirmed. Because I know there's um, <sighs> Bad Girl's been confirmed. Yeah. Bad oh, no, Girl. sorry. It's still in talks. Yeah. Oh, it's still in talks? Yeah. Everything be... is still in talks. Because, you know, he already knows karate. <laughs> <laughs> karate. I love how they always go karate. And I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> No, I mean, okay, which I mean, you prefer, though, play- karate or karate? karate. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, I, I don't know. I like whatever. I like, don't give a shit. No, I, it, it infuriates me sometimes. Like, so, like, I'm kind of like trying to learn Korean at the side as well. It infuriates mm-hmm. me when they like need to send out emails with newsletters saying, like, you know, how come Korean names have three syllables? And I'm like, what <laughs> kind of a question is that? Yeah. Well, okay. How come Korean I think names have three syllables? Three parts of it, as opposed to like you know John Smith. There are white people but with like, middle names too. Yeah, but it's not a middle name. name. No, it's not a middle name because the last two things are, is, is is your first name. Is your first name, even though it's why is it why is it your first name and it's like, well, fuck because it's a different culture. Now fuck off. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think I also think it's because we're Asian and we're used to it. Yeah, mm. like. I mean, I get it because, you know, and growing up in England, people. like growing up in England, trying to explain to people, yes, my father's name is Baha Ahmad. My name is Kairal Baha. Mm. And they're like, so your surname is Ahmad? No, <laughs> my surname is Baha because that's my dad's first name. But then do we call your dad Mr. Ahmad? No, you call him Mr. Baha. <laughs> what do you call yeah, you? Mr. Kairal. <laughs> it, it, it. To be honest, I took me. I mean, even even here growing up, like I did, I did not clock that till I was like kind of an adult. 
<laughs> but I mean, I mean, you know, it, I'm not sure if it's in my defense. I grew up in a Chinese area. There you go. I mean, because you know, Chinese names have a surname that lasts. Whereas yeah. Yeah. Muslims, it's so and so, son of so and so, who is son of so and so, who is son of so and so, who is son of so and so. Yeah. Which is actually the same as Indian. In, yeah, like, son yeah. of Anat Lalaki, Anat 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 Popon. Yeah. yeah. And then well, some people to- <laughs> some people in England just think that our middle name's Ben. That was interesting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For real. For ben. real. They're like, so can I call you Ben? It's like what? <laughs> no, it's shorter then. That's not no. <laughs> no. Uh oh, uh, coming to okay, going back to the uh, TV shows. Another TV show that's coming soon is the final season of Lucifer, which I think uh, yes. Kai's the only one that's excited for. I'm uh, particularly excited because I didn't know there was another season. So <laughs> the ending of the last season was very disappointing as a cliffhanger. <laughs> I saw the latest trailer that just came out literally like 14 hours ago. Yeah, and um, yeah, Lucifer doesn't want to be God. The apocalypse is coming <laughs> and they <laughs> step through a door into a cartoon universe. Um, <laughs> I called it that Lucifer would not want to be God eventually. He would just go he's, bored. He's, no, he, he wanted to be God to prove his love. And um, in the final episode, Chloe's of course like, you don't need to do that to prove your love, dumbass. It's yeah, too you late idiot. now because I'm fighting all these angels and my brother. <laughs> and God idiot. fucked off to retire. So, damn. <laughs> this is idiot. This is another show that realized it can have fun and is having fun with it. No, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. when the musical episode of last season was going on. <laughs> oh yeah, Supernatural also has a musical episode, episode 200, which I'm uh, anticipating. Every series, when they realize enough people in the group can sing and dance, like, we must figure out a way to somehow have, and have it part of the plot. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I mean, you know, and then, and then, you know, they, but they also firmly need to entrench themselves in their fan base. So they, mm. they need to know that they won't turn their fan base off if they have a musical episode. So like Lucifer was because God was having fun, but also kind of losing control of his powers. So mm-hmm. everyone would break into song whenever God was around. <laughs> Was the one in Flash Supergirl? They were. Oh no, that was a Mixelplex. So yeah, it was a uh, <laughs> dimensional being who's just making them sing. Mm. <laughs> just, you know. No, and then no, 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 no. And the most unfair, or the most, I guess, unfair or imba or whatever thing was that the one, the person with the most musical chops did not get to sing. Which one? Jeremy Jordan. Who that? He didn't get to sing. The fuck? He's a Broadway actor for yeah, fuck's exactly. sake. Precisely. Oh, the dad. He, no, 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 no. Uh, Win. Who? The best friend. Supergirl's Wait. best friend. Oh, yes. He did not yeah, get, he to didn't sing. get to sing. He didn't get to sing. No. <laughs> because, That's I mean, a... he, would, he, would, he would sing them out of the shower. Like, he would sing them under the table. Like, he would sing them to the next state. Like, he's a fucking music. to put it in the plot. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he was playing the fucking piano. Yeah, it was... Look, they, they all needed a reason to sing. <laughs> His unrequited love for Kara. Did he even have any more unrequited love by God that knows. point in the show? I <laughs> no, I do not even know. <laughs> but Jeremy Jordan gives me life when he does all like all the all the miscast stuff. Uh, ah, yeah. Jeremy Jordan. Nothing I wanted to bring up. So I saw the trailer for Cop Shop, right? Oh, I've heard about. It. Yeah, I haven't seen that trailer. Which also. is. Uh, a Joe Carnahan movie, and it looks very Joe Carnahan, and mm. starring Jared Butler. But Gerard Butler, Gerard, um, Gerard, Frank Grillo's in it, and it really made me realize the whole time of COVID, Frank Grillo has been in like every other movie. Yes, yes, he has. I'm like, did you shoot all this pre-COVID? And because it's COVID, all the studios are like, well, what else do we have? We have this Frank Grillo picture. Okay, put it out. <laughs> Like, I feel Frank Grillo is in every B-grade film now as well. Like, he's starting to become the next sort of, like, not Steven Seagal, but that sort of, like, not Jean-Claude Steven Van Damme. Seagal. Jean-Claude Van Damme? No, because he's working with pretty big actors. Oh, and this guy. <laughs> yes, you know? that guy. Uh, uh, what is his name in, in I'm Marvel's just gonna look at, In what? 
in Captain America. Crossbones, skull yeah. bones. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so, all right. Uh, I'm just looking. So between 2019 and 2021, <laughs> all right. This is movies that have been released. Okay, movies released between 2019 and 2021. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve <laughs> movies. And he also has his TV series, Billions. <laughs> so, and he was all up in 2020 with Billions. It's like, and he has, uh, he's completed two more movies in 2021. The other two movies in 2021 are in post production. He has another one. Two movies of 2022 in post production, <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five movies in pre production. <laughs> I need to know of his agent because, you know, like, this I'm is like, a lot of work. Yes. And, and, uh, and he, I mean, he does okay, a so lot of action stuff. So it's like, that's hitting his body too. Yeah, and also, I'm like, and I mean, that, that's a mark of a working actor. A oh, successful yeah. working yeah. actor. Like I mean, like you know, like sometimes you need to understand that you are not going to be the leading man, yeah. and that is absolutely fine. But, but in I a lot the of fucking... these, he is the leading well, man. Really? Yes. Well, here's another thing. Like they could be hardest working actor, and then there's Bruce Willis, who also has a shitload of films coming out. But it's Bruce Willis. Yeah, but okay, the stuff that he's got coming out. So you got Billions, which is on TV. He's in the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Mm -hmm. That's a big movie. Yeah, right? that's true. He's also in Jiu-Jitsu. We'll let that slide. Mm -hmm. He was in Avengers <laughs> Endgame. You know? Yes, yes. Right? Um, what was that uh, movie? Uh, Boss Level with Mel Gibson. Mm. He's in that and he's the lead. Yes. You, know, you compare that to before 20... Yeah, so before 2019, 2017, four movies. 2016, two movies. 2015, two movies. 2014, two movies. But 2019 to 2021 onwards, he's just pow, 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 pow. And a bunch of these, he's leads. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, did you see his, uh, his documentary on He has Netflix? a documentary as well. <laughs> Back in 2018, he did a documentary called Fight Wolf, which he, basically he went uh, to different countries to discover their fighting styles. Like he wow. went to Thailand to discover about Muay Thai and all that kind of things and, and showcase all these different martial arts styles. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and he was on Law & Order SVU twice. Everyone was on fucking Law & Order. But twice <laughs> as two different characters? Look, I mean, look, I mean, you know, with, with, with SVU, you eventually get... I mean, with all you know, these procedurals, you eventually get that way. Like, after like about three years, three or five years, and you're like, do you think they still remember? I don't think so. Lah. Okay, okay. He's, been, he's been in two different CSIs. CSI and CSI New York. And he started working in 93. Jesus Christ. Wow. Lord, Lord. He was in The Shield. <laughs> Again, I mean, again, look, it's a procedural. It's one of those things that you just need to put in your thing, man. His very first role was as a detective in Deadly Rivals. Like, he was he was typecast from the start. Like, if he's not a cop, he's going to be a military guy or, or a secret military... Actually, no, not gangster. <laughs> he has done gangsters a couple of times. Like, in a Cop Shop, he's a gangster who's just trying to run away from the mob and everyone wants to kill him. But, you know... Um, you he's know, usually a renegade. Winter Soldier, Endgame, Marvel, he's, you know, a bad soldier. Yeah. Um, the the Purge, he's that um, military bodyguard dude. In the second Purge? And the third the Purge? Pur it says the Purge election year, yeah. which is uh, the third yeah. installment. Wasn't he in the one oh. before that as well? I thought he was in two Purges. He's in two Purges. It's all this. Yeah, he's in Purge Anarchy as well. Yeah. He so basically plays the same, the Sergeant Leo Barnes. Yeah, like the Sergeant in the Purge Anarchy became like, uh, you know, a bodyguard in election year and still had to save everyone from purging. There's going to be another Purge? I thought the Forever Purge was the final Purge. Now there's going to be a sixth Purge film? Wasn't there a Purge after is, this new Purge? Isn't there a Purge series? There is a the Purge, Purge series, series as well. It ended. That, that got cancelled because it wasn't oh. that great. Um, oh, wait. So, the sixth Purge film is uh, going to focus on Frank Grillo's Leo Barnes character. So, that's another it's film that he's going to be back. in. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, 
you wow. can. Hey, so actually, so basically, he's a Hong Kong star, lah. Cause he can fight and he can act. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. He does his own. I'm surprised fight. he hasn't done Hong Kong can films. He, can he sing too? Ah, uh, that would be cool. If he can sing, then he's a Hong Kong star, di lo. Yeah, actually, but when wait. some of those guys sing, like when Jackie Chan sings, I'm like, who is Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan. Oh, yeah, but see when Andy Lau. Oh, sorry, no. Frank Grillo has done a Chinese film, so yeah, he's 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 broken into a Chinese market already. Which movie? Which movie? Wolf Warrior Two. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, you can't even pay your due, lah. No man, <laughs> can I can? No, no, no. Yeah, I bet you he's gonna be in another Ip Man or something. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> did anyone watch the Ip Man where he fought Mike Tyson? Yes, I did. Was it? Was that fight any good? <laughs> Uh, ba- okay, here's the thing. Hey, it lost Tyson, steam. It the lost problem is steam. The thing with fighting Mike Tyson and then Batista in the last one is these guys are heavy hitters. So all they do is bash windows and tables, whereas Impot is beating the shit out of them because he's quick and nimble. And then there's Mike and Tyson like- throwing a punch and hitting it, missing him and hitting a wall is basically these guys are there to cause destruction to the environment and Iman is there to actually do body damage <laughs> like oh my god I mean talk about talk about uh, sting like a sting like, like a butterfly sting like a bee I would like to see <laughs> Ipman play a Nintendo Wii boxing game <laughs> I think the machine will just crash <laughs> <laughs> like Donnie and just go, like I don't know, I don't know who won. Don't know, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Frank Grillo is in fucking everything, uh, isn't he? Like that's like everyone else has been trying to find work over the COVID, and because <laughs> Frank Grillo has taken all the jobs. <laughs> it's not that he just banked all these jobs. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like it's pretty like. <laughs> Bro- brother's gonna make brother's brother. <laughs> He's getting <laughs> checks on checks on checks. Yeah, brother's minting money at this point. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay, it would be sad if Hollywood still uses checks and not a direct debit. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Actually. I would not be yeah, surprised. Yeah, this, yeah. Surprised this is a Morica. <laughs> this is a sorry, Morica. Uh, okay, wait, come off, moving away from Frank Grillo. Another trailer that came out for a TV series also is Midnight Mass, which is. Mike Flanagan's next supernatural horror series after uh, Haunting of Bly Manor. Midnight Mass? You still have not watched. Yes. Uh, okay. Midnight and Bly Manor, it was okay. It, <laughs> it's, not- <laughs> it's nothing compared to Hill House. Hill House, I feel, was fantastic. Hill House, even though it was a horror... F- actually, it wasn't that scary. There was more heart and more drama than there was horror yeah, with yeah, Hill House. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right here. Bly Manor, like, Hill House, I binged it. It was so gripping that I binged it. But Bly Manor, I was like, okay, I watched the first two episodes. I can I can wait a while to watch the next one. And now we're getting Midnight Mass, which is about priests. Really? I couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, se- I mean, if it's Midnight Mass, either about priests or about the Irish mob, so. <laughs> the series is centered around an isolated... Oh, what? Wow, wow, wow. It's about a scary piece of fat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the series is centered around an isolated island community that experiences supernatural events after the arrival of a mysterious priest. I wonder I wonder if everyone is shooting stuff in like... No, but they don't actually shoot in remote islands. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think they'll fly them to an isolated island and be like, here, let's shoot for a year. I mean, I mean but that'd be great because then you'd be, you know, COVID safe. I was about to make a joke that, no, they probably shot in Canada, and sure enough, they shot in Canada. Ooh, that reminds me, there is a COVID movie that, for once, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of curious. Which is? Together, Ian McGregor. Not Ian McGregor. No, no, sorry, no. Um, James Ian, McAvoy. James McAvoy, the other Scottish one. Here's the thing. It has already come out on BBC. <laughs> because it was a it was a BBC made-for-TV movie. Ah. And so when I, I was like, together trailer i'm like why it's already come out i have it why why is why is the trailer coming out now i'm like oh they're releasing it in the u.s now i want to see it it looks like a play movie yeah it does Uh, what and i think they shot it like a play because there's Uh, long sequences of just like one shot Mm. yeah 
And I mean, so, it's McAvoy. So, so, and it's so, so kind to the cinematographer. <laughs> <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> just, just sit. You set up, okay. Let's, you just walk away for half an hour, okay. <laughs> like, actually, is it, is, who is it written by? Uh, screenplay by Dennis Kelly. Who, oh! You're right. Yeah. Oh, Dennis yeah. Kelly. Hey. Yeah. Dennis Kelly, so he has he has experience with plays, so like yeah, he is a playwright. Yes, that's um the it was broadcast on BBC Two on the seventeenth of June. Uh, BBC some calling Two, it, yes, Ooh. BBC Two, not BBC even BBC two. One. Um, some hey. calling it claustrophobic, brilliant, and an honest film set during the pandemic. At least it wasn't BBC Three. <laughs> is BBC Four still around? Is it? No, that went. They, they moved to YouTube. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, BBC Four decided to k- pull it off um, physical broadcast. TV broadcast, and it's now on iPlayer and YouTube. Wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is such a thing as too much BBC. <laughs> well, I mean, they are the British broadcasting company. Is that really? Oh, sorry, crazy? sorry. Um, a new new update. This is in March 2021. BBC Four to become archive channel as cost cutting drive continues. Oh my god! Okay, random, but random, random. Co- in talking of random and like, COVID news, did you read about like uh, this mab? Of, this mab? This mob <laughs> of anti-vax protesters? Uh-huh. Wanting to go and protest and surge the BBC office. <laughs> they Why? Went. No, no, no. So because they're like, you're, you're, you're giving people false information and promoting people to vaccinate. You cannot, it's bad. They went to the, of the building to protest the BBC. But that uh-huh. building, BBC had vacated already long, many, many years. <laughs> no, they went to the old BBC building. Yes. Which is being oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> which, 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 I, which they rented out to ITV. Oh my god. Hey they, hey, they had to bring... Okay, I mean, it was a situation, okay? Because they actually had to bring cops. But, you know, like, much, um, guys. Yeah, but it's a situation oh where, where the, god. the cops are there like, what's all this then? We're ready for BBC. <laughs> you know they've moved. What? <laughs> Yes, don't for you, many years now. Yes. Don't don't you use Google Maps? We don't trust the internet. Well, <laughs> you understand what you were anti vaxxers then? Oh we just have God. we just have an A to Z from 1987. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh my God! The, 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 I did, I mean, I didn't even really read the article because. It was all in the. It was all in the. Like yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm reading this. I'm reading this headline from inews.co.uk. Television centre protests. anti vaxxers clash with police and try to storm former BBC studios in London. BBC's news has not been filmed at the site since 2013. <laughs> oh my god. Which okay, they replied, I'm- or has it? It's a conspiracy. <laughs> This is sad. The BBC's former headquarters in White City, which is a site now largely luxury flats and home of ITV daytime show Lorraine. Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Stupidest thing ever! I'm like, bro, you want to protest or so? You get, your, you get the location, you get your location right lah. You know what I mean? Like, what's up? It, it goes against your entire mission of and being anti vexer It just shows stupidity, you know? No, we secretly wanted to meet Lorraine. That's why we're here. <laughs> is Lorraine in the building, by chance? <laughs> Lorraine is a daytime show. It's 4.30 in the evening. We will wait. We know she's in there. She has meetings. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't, sir. It's COVID. Her meetings are taken from home. We'll still wait. She has to come at some point. <laughs> and so, you know, she's taking a cue out of Trevor Noah's and she's recording from home now. Could we get her dressed then? <laughs> we shall protest out of Lorraine's home. To hell with this. To the sky, officers. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, get a balloon. No, that's not where they're... Never mind. (laughs) Oh my god, this is... I'm sorry, this is fucking hilarious. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, on Sky News, a bunch of protesters were found on a balloon attempting to reach us. <laughs> Oh my god! Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it ended with tragedy when they crashed into another balloon filled with flat earthers. <laughs> Who are trying to stop the ITV officers? <laughs> <laughs> to which ITV said, Someone noticed us! <laughs> okay. Oi! Watch I I watch ITV shows! I hey, come on, the morning show? I Only prefer because... Channel 4. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you know, because I- ITV is where all the procedurals are and all the murder mysteries. I mean, I'm just imagine this is still going on. I'm just Wait, imagine they still have the bill out the window. What is the, the bill, bill still on? I'm sure the bill is still on. Let me see the bill. Let me find it. <laughs> End credits of just fucking policemen's feet walking into the distance. No, the bill has <gasps> ended in 2010. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's been it's been over a decade. No, 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 but like Midsummer Murders is still going on. It's like oh, season wait. 24. Is I is Dr. Martin on ITV as well? No, uh, wait, 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 wait. Dr. Martin, Dr. Martin is... Dr. Martin is BBC. BBC. Is I it? think so. Wait, wait, wait. No, ITV. Dr. Martin's ITV. Oh, okay. Yeah, it felt very ITV. And that ended like two years ago, 2019. Huh. Oh, yeah. I like Doc Martin. Doc Martin was fun. Is he done? Like, yeah. Well, oh <laughs> shit! Fuck no! Sorry. Yeah, okay. it's, it's his present. Um, April twenty twenty, director Nigel Cole confirmed plans for a tenth and final season, which is expected to air in twenty twenty two. Oh, it's amazing how many cases he has in that tiny island. <laughs> right? Like how many? How many Sorry, cases can he possibly out. have? No, no, no! But come on, miss some murders. If you do this, there should be no one in Midsummer anymore. <laughs> you can average of three people dying per, per per week. Wait, is that why they're always placed in these places? Because there's a tourist trade? <laughs> ah. So all the tourists, all, all, all the transients are dying. Yes. You know, the so, transient, by, by not, not the homeless, but the transient people who move in and out of this country. Yes, like that's, the why, makers. that's why the regular people still are around in the show. Because otherwise there would be no chip shop, there'd be no news agents. Everyone would be dead. But no, <laughs> they came holidaying from Devon. Well, good for them, they're dead. <laughs> oh, they went to the Airbnb to do some sort of writing, this writer. Oh my god. 20 years and on season 22. Currently on season 22. What, wow. Midsummer? Yeah. Leon season 22? I thought it was 23 right now. Okay, never mind. Uh, on Wikipedia, it says season 22. Okay. They need to do a yeah. crossover. The cast of EastEnders go for a holiday in Midsummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How did this turn into oh, the he's fucking TV? dead? <laughs> <laughs> we should never have left the East End. I mean, we are Anglophiles. <laughs> it's EastEnders is still going on, right? It's yes, still yes, going yes, on. yes, yes. All the soaps are still going on. Yes. What's the other uh, Coronation Street? Coronation. Yes, Coronation Street. That's it. Corey. Oh, Coronation I, Street. How I mean, long has I mean, that been going on for? The day, the the day, the day TV's TV stations run out of soap operas, which is literally just. Cut to pub. Someone comes into pub. <laughs> you all right, love? Problems, solutions, more problems. Mm. He's shagging her. Good night. Mm. The show premiered its ten thousandth episode on seventh of February, twenty twenty. Lord, wow! And celebrated its sixtieth anniversary later that year, in twenty twenty. Wow. Wait. So Coronation Street is older than Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Oh no 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 Doctor Who is older. Oh no Doctor Who is sixty. What? 50, 53. Hey, no, 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 no. But Coronation no, yeah. Street has been ongoing. You have to applaud yeah. that. Doctor Who took a break. It is Doctor every break. day. It's every day, right? <laughs> you cannot stop Coronation Street. That pub is open. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Seven <laughs> days um, a week. 10, p- 10 a.m. to probably about 11 p.m. because of closing time. Do you think the bold and the beautiful... Oh, oh sorry, going? fuck, no. No, no, no. Uh, sorry, Coronation Street is older. Doctor Who is 63, not 53. 63. Bold and Beautiful is still going on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But The Bold and Beautiful only started um, in 1987. 
Um, How about Days of Our Lives? Days of Our Lives is... Oh my god, no. Days of Our Lives is 1964... 1965. What? Whoa! <laughs> um, the Young and the Restless. Oh. Since 1973. Okay. But... Okay, let me see if it's still going on. But I think what takes the cake... Is? Might be... Uh-huh. General Hospital. How long has General Hospital been going on for? I mean, it's, it's, it's not by much that. It's usually 1963, but... Ah, uh, yeah, same as Dr. Hula. But, I mean, to imagine that it's been going on since 1963. In but also, did you know that there was Home and Away, the movie? <laughs> not surprised. Did Kylie and... Oh, no, that's Neighbours. Not, not surprised, away. really. It was a straight to TV film called Home and Away, the movie. Let me guess, they went away for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because that's what they always do whenever it's a TV movie of a series, they go for a holiday somewhere off the set. Let oh me see, God. Home and Away, the movie. Have you heard, I mean, do, do you guys know As the World Turns? Oh, yeah, As the World Turns, yes. It, it, it started in 19, 1956 to 2010. But, it, but, but has anyone ever heard of this series called this top called Guiding Light? Yeah. Oh, sounds familiar. That's yeah, it from, sounds familiar. It was from 1952 to 2009. Okay, let's start wrapping this up because now we've devolved into <laughs> discussing soap <laughs> operas. <laughs> Not yes. even British ones now. We've gone into American soap operas. Is, <laughs> and Australian. Don't forget, open away. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, and all those soap operas will be coming back in September, together with these other awesome shows. Yes. Wait, do they, do, they, do they take the summer off? No, they don't. I was just mm. doing a bit. <laughs> no, sorry, wait, okay, before we end, before we end, I have to say this, though. There was a special episode of Home and Away called Home and Away All or Nothing, which became available for online streaming in January 2017 and was intended for adult-only viewing, as it was described as the most violent episode of the entire series. <laughs> Adult only viewing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, does anyone ever watch Emmerdale? Okay, shall we watch this? We need, to, we need to get out of this rabbit hole right now. This has gone too far. This has gone way too far. This Which rabbit reminds hole. reminds me, I need to watch Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not bad. That's not too bad. Okay. It's all, Which has also been good. going on for a long time. <laughs> but there was a but that, like, like Doctor Who. Yeah, that was like reboots. It's the not like we've had the original. Reboots. It's not like we had the original yeah. Ron Sterling series all the way until now. Yeah, because be he's amazing. dead. Yeah, this is true. But Disney brought it back to life for Disneyland. What do you yeah. mean? Because for mm. the Tower of Terror, right? They brought back Rod Sterling and they got a voiceover actor to recreate Rod Sterling's voice and they sort of used like old footage and shit. Yay. That's not and, too and, bad. And and all like the icons from Wait, the show. I went on that ride. I went on the Twilight Zone ride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They just drop you from a great height. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I with that, like was a... grabbing my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I have Disney news, but never mind then. We're going to end the episode. <laughs> yes, with that. Yes, so uh, with that, my name is Amelia Chen. I am the Dorian. Um, um, um. <laughs> <laughs> Keep kicking out, yeah. She did it. She did it. I just, she did it. <laughs> <laughs>